Hello everyone. The history of the YF-23 fighter jet is perhaps one of the greatest breakthroughs in aviation history. The YF-23 fighter jet is considered a revolutionary sixth generation aircraft. The fourth generation, which was far ahead of its time, was not even owned by the United States at the time. The existence of this kind of weapon was an important requirement for military officials who have great power, but the project was kept secret and was cancelled in 1990. It is now possible that YF-23, also known as Black Widow, could be revived like the legendary Phoenix. But why is this project able to reappear after such a long time? In 1991, the United States Air Force formulated new requirements for a fifth-generation fighter jet that would replace the F-15. This project is known as the ATF Advanced Tactical Fighter and involves two main teams, namely Lockheed Martin and Northrop. The competition took nearly 50 months before two prototypes were produced, namely the YF-22 by Lockheed Martin and the YF-23 by Northrop. The YF-23 prototype has two versions. The first version, the YF-23 BB-1, used the F-119 turbofan engine which was later installed on the F-22 Raptor. The second version, the YF-23 PA-2, was equipped with a General Electric YF-120 engine that could switch between turbojet and turbofan modes in flight testing. It was revealed that the YF-23 has a lower radar signature compared to its competitors. This gives it an advantage in terms of duping on the fifth generation where radar is the big difference. However, why did the United States Air Force prefer the F-22 over the YF-23? One reason may be the F-22's better maneuverability, particularly due to its controllable thrust vectoring capabilities. In addition, the YF-23's longer aerodynamic design was disadvantageous in close combat. Other considerations include economic factors, budget safety, experience, and the reputation of aircraft manufacturing company Northrop, a renowned creator. B-2 Spirit Bombers have extensive experience building covert aircraft, but their penchant for innovative designs may not match the preferences of more conservative militaries. When these factors combine to give the F-22 an edge, it will eventually become a successful fifth-generation fighter. Despite its outstanding flight capabilities, the YF-23 is unable to overcome the comprehensive challenges of modern air combat. However, it wasn't long before the military realized that conditionality was also a key element in the ATF program. In 2005, the F-22 entered active service with a very low radar signature, reducing its ability to be detected by air and ground targets while still being able to operate enemy weapons out of range. However, all this comes at a high price. The operating costs for each figure are quite surprising, which is 3.795 million per unit, including the enormous development costs. ALS's hourly operating costs also amount to $58,000, an astounding figure. In the first few years of this century, the United States was the only country capable of designing and producing fifth-generation aircraft such as the F-22 and F-35. However, the global situation is changing rapidly. Other countries such as Russia with the S-57 and China with the J-20 and J-31 have also followed suit. Suddenly new projects appeared that were previously forgotten. In Japan, what appears to be the F-2 project is about to be revived. The country, with its samurai heritage, now has an ambitious program to build their own fifth-generation aircraft known as the Mitsubishi F-3. This heavy company is set as the lead developer.